Hello Brain Shakers, welcome to the Brain Shakers Academy, Brave Alice T is here. In today's session we're going to be looking at the pelvic landmarks, some of the very important points on the pelvis that help us to determine what position the fetus is in and also helps us to differentiate between the true pelvis and the false pelvis and it also helps us to understand what the pelvic brim is. Now let's go into today's session and understand some of those pelvic landmarks okay so we did look at the pelvis or the applied anatomy to the female pelvis and if you haven't seen that video do check out for it on my youtube channel which is brain shakers academy now we have about eight important landmarks on the female pelvis and with me here i have drawn a dotted line around the pelvis which is going to help us in understanding those important uh, landmarks now of all those eight we will come to understand that at number one what we are going to have is a protrusion of the sacrum so there is this part here which we call the sacral promontory so the sacral promontory is landmark number one so we have our sacral promontory here and we did make mention that when we are looking at the sacral promontory, it should not be so prominent, it should not be so deviated into the inlet or into the pelvic brim of the pelvis because that is going to affect the pelvic diameters. In short, it will affect what you call an anteroposterior diameter, that is the diameter from the sacral promontory to the upper border of the symphysis pubis. So that is landmark number one. Then landmark number two is basically just the wings of the sacrum. You have this part here. So these are wings of the sacrum and we call these the sacro alley okay or alley of the sacrum so we have a sacro alley okay so it is just these part so you can remember them as the wings of the sacrum just that broadening area of the sacrum now the third landmark that we have is a joint meaning that we have a joint in between the sacrum and the ilium of that innominate bone. So within this line that we have drawn here as the dotted line, the part that joins the sacrum and the ilium here is where you're going to have your sacroiliac joint so we are at number three here and we did make mention the alley is number two and we have the promontory at number one so number three here all we have there is the sacroiliac joint so that is landmark number three What is the fourth landmark? So the fourth landmark is a line. So this line that I have drawn here is an imaginary line that is going to help us to understand the landmarks. So there is a line there that we draw, an imaginary line that then gives us what we call an iliopectineal line. So the ilium has more or less like a region that would then become a little bit more prominent if you're looking at an actual pelvis. So before you get to the area where the ilium is eminent or prominent, you have a line that you can draw from the sacroiliac joint to that eminence and we call it the iliopectineal line. So that is going to be our fourth landmark. So we have an iliopectineal line okay now because you are joining a line from the sacroiliac joint to the iliopectineal eminence so we are putting number four here which is the line we are calling the iliopectineal uh, line and because you are coming to the area where you find that the uh, the ilium is a little bit prominent is a little bit prominent that prominence is what we call an iliopectineal eminence okay so you have that as your landmark number five so iliopectineal eminence 
that is just an area that shows a little bit of prominency on the ilium itself now as you move there you are going to have a uh, landmark number six now landmark number six brings you to the upper or the superior ramus of the pubic bone now the pubic bone is going to appear more or less like a v in that order okay so you have this part here that you are obviously calling the obturator foramen and then here where you have uh, the the prominence let's label it as number five now you have this part here which you are calling the obturator foramen and then you have this arm it's more or less like creating an arm so it has an upper arm and a lower arm this is called the superior ramus of the pubic bone and this is called the inferior ramus of the pubic bone but because that imaginary line that we are drawing there to give us that pelvic brim and the landmark is not passing on the lower aspect of the pubic bone but it is passing on the upper aspect of the pubic bone it will pass on the superior ramus of the pubic bone so we are going to have that as landmark number six so we're going to say this is going to be number six so here we will have what we will call the superior ramus of the pubic bone okay then we have number seven and we will label number eight as well now because we are still in that same order and coming out to this other end we have now the pubic bone itself we did make mention that as we are looking at the pubic bone it will form more or less like an arm so you had that part which was the ramus then now you have the part which is actually the pubic bone itself so because you have the pubic bone having the lower border and the upper border you will refer to the landmark number seven as the superior inner border of the pubic bone so we're not referring to the uh, inferior uh, border but we're referring to the inner border on the upper aspect of that pubic bone so you're going to have a superior inner border so that is of the pubic bone itself okay so that is going to now be labeled as number seven because we are at the pubic bone and then the eighth landmark is this area here that we did call in applied anatomy as the symphysis pubis now the symphysis pubis has an upper aspect and a lower aspect so the upper aspect is where that line that we have drawn is going to pass and so we're looking at the superior inner border of the symphysis pubis so that is going to be our landmark and it will be landmark number eight so we have the superior inner border of the symphysis pubis so this can actually have upper on it okay but because you already have superior you can still say superior inner border of the symphysis pubis or you can say upper inner border of the symphysis pubis the same with this upper inner border of the pubic bone but for you to be able to make that differentiation you can either say the superior or the inferior so those are the cardinal landmarks that then you will find on the uh, pelvis so everything now that is above the pelvic landmarks is going to then form what we call a false pelvis and anything that falls beneath the landmarks is what we are going to call the true pelvis now i look at the inlet the pelvic brim and the pelvic outlet in another video so do 
make sure you check that uh, particular video as well and you'll find it on the youtube channel which is brain shakers academy so basically that is all about the landmarks now if you found this particular video interesting and helpful in understanding those pelvic landmarks drop me comments in the comment section i would like to hear what you think ask questions and drop the questions in the comments section and we will respond to them otherwise thank you so much for watching and from me i will see you in the next one